Hi, everybody. Oh, I better get the chat up here so I can see it, huh? Right now, it's not in front of me. Hang on. Let's get it over here. There we go. All right. Let's see. How is everybody doing on Sunday? There we go. Hi, Becky. Hi, Debbie. Hello, Krusty. Hi, Angela and Julie and Melinda. Holy cow. Hi, Susan. Hello, Pauline. Hi, Barbara. I am working on my Casper triangles for a minute, and then I'm going to stop and talk to you guys, but I'm trying to get mine done. See, so you guys aren't the only one. Oh, Amy, happy birthday. Hello, Vanessa. Drive safely home. Hi, so-and-so from Southern California. Yep, you made it, Diane. We're all here. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Cheryl. Everybody's getting on quick today. Very good. I'm going to move the monitor just a little bit. I just wanted you guys to see me when I see what I was doing when I popped in. Oh, there. Now I think you can actually see everything. Oh, oh, working on Olivia's quilt. Very cool. Make sure you post pictures, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is the dress I made. I, you can see I did the pleats on the outside on this one. Hi, Rebecca. Yep, I got my hair chopped right off. Big time. Hello, Renora. Yep, got my hair cut. Yeah, chopped it right off. I like it when it goes short. It's easier. Thank you so much. Yep, I went and got it cut. Aw, thank you. I will get the video done. I um, did some tweaking to the pattern, so it'll come up sometime in September, okay? Oh. Hi, Gail. Gail's tuning in from the car. Thank you on the haircut. Gail actually was in my neck of the woods and got to stop and see the studio. So it was really cool. I got to see Gail today and I got to meet her husband, Charlie. We had a nice visit. It was so nice to meet Charlie and to get to see Gail again. Hi, Victoria. Oh, good. Lindsay's here. Hi, Linz. So, um, I wanted to come on today and go, oh, we didn't do pics. We should have. Sorry. We were so busy talking. I ended up um, showing her my embroidery floss and things in the studio and projects that are coming up and all sorts of stuff. We were having a good time. At least I had a great time. It was fun. I love seeing her. So um, I wanted to pop on here and go over the half square triangle swap with you guys because we're getting right down to the end of it. In fact, that's the first thing that I wanted to go through with you guys. We're going to be swapping so, oh, Carol celebrated her 50th anniversary yesterday. Wow, congratulations. That's wonderful. Hi, Cheryl from Canada. It was a busy week for everybody, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to yawn. Um, Krusty is actually a woman. Yep, with a cute name. <laughs> Thank you, Gail. Krusty's a lady. Yep. So, hi, Peggy. 
So I want to go over the swap with you. So what's going to happen this month is you need to order your monthly kit and then one additional kit. You need to have your half square triangles in by this Saturday, which is August 25th. Okay. And that's really important because August 26th, we're going to be doing the swap. So on the 25th, I'll pick up the mail that day and um, we'll add it. Then all of the orders will be shipped on September 1st. Okay. So that gives me a few days to get everything together before it gets mailed out. So again, I'm going to go through the dates with you so that you make sure and what you have to do. I want you to please get your orders in by this coming Friday or Saturday, the 25th, okay? On the 26th, we'll do our swapping. And then on the 1st of September, everything will go out, okay? If for some reason I'm able to get them out sooner, I absolutely positively will, okay? Hi, Arlene. I wondered where you were. We haven't seen you in a few weeks. Yep, you, Jody, you got to get going on your half square triangles. That's what I'm working on right now. So, um, let's see. I'm reading through the comments at the same time. Yes, if you have ones that you want to return this month, you can as part of your other ones. Now, I want to go on to the next step, okay? Um, what I'm going to be doing is this month we're going to swap, okay? Then I'm going to be sending back to you your order and the swap triangles. So you're going to want to order the monthly packet and at least one edition, at least the monthly packet, okay? I do suggest that you get the monthly packet plus the additional one. Thank you so much, Peggy. So then on the first, I'll send everything out to you guys. Now at that point, I'm gonna sneeze now. Oh boy, maybe I'm not going to, but I feel like I'm going to. So I'll send all that stuff out to you. And then at that point, you will have more than enough. I haven't seen mom yet, Vanessa. I don't know that she's here. I haven't seen her name pop up yet. But she could be there and not have said anything to us. So um, you'll get them. And at this point, you should have at a minimum. Hi, mom. Mom's here, guys. 732 half square triangles. Now, with what you're getting this month and your new ones, you know, the new ones that you're going to make, you should have more than enough to be able to swap out anything that you, that doesn't make it into your blocks that you don't necessarily want to put in a block, okay? It's purposely set up so that this last month you're going to get your monthly kit and your additional kit and then you're going to have extra half square triangles to swap in if you need another color like um it, a couple of them that i've seen on facebook you know they've got a real color um going combination going with the large block and then the little ones so if that's what you're doing what you will be able to do is swap out other ones, all right? So hang tight for the, for the person who wanted to send some back and swap them out again. You don't need to because with this month, you're going to have enough so that you can actually swap something else. And how we're doing this is so that you can have some of your blocks in the quilt too, beyond your big ones, all right? So this is the last month of our actual swapping. 
We will be finishing and putting our quilt together in September. Nope, there's no swapping in September, Diane. So what's going to happen is you're going to order. Yep, Carrie, I think you got it. Um, Sammy, I will tell you when I get your package, I do not have it right this second. I have not gotten it, but I haven't been to the post office since Thursday, so I missed two days. So that, it very well could be there. I will double check. All right, so we're going to go through it again. What you're going to order this month is a monthly half square triangle and an additional one and then your large one. Get your half square triangles into me by the 25th of this month because we are going to be swapping on the 26th. When you get this last package, this package that comes with your monthly kit and your additional kit and your large half square triangles, you're going to be keeping all of these. So you will be keeping 128 half square triangles. So you're right, Carrie. You're going to keep 128 of them. Those are going to be yours to put into your quilt wherever you need them to be put. All right. So it's just like this little cushion. You will end up with, I can't remember exactly how many. I think you end up with maybe 50 extras someplace around there. You end up with extras. Hi, Rolene. So that's what we're going to do, okay? Then in September, we're going to be putting everything together. I'm going to be pressing my half square triangles. I'm going to be pressing my big ones, and I'm going to start putting it all together. So I'm really, really excited about it. I just cannot wait. Um... You should have gotten mine unless they're still, they may be still at my P.O. box, Teresa. Because like I said, I haven't been there since Thursday. So on, in September, that's what we're going to be working on, is getting our half square triangle quilt done. Okay? And, oh, can I reach it? Yeah, I can reach it. So this is, this is the quilt that we're going to be putting together. Okay? So I also wanted to tell you that on the website now, there is batiks from this. Hi, Sue. There are batiks from this block, from this whole swap thing, out on my website. So if you can see, there's a little border there. See the little background border? They are there. So... You can order that fabric if you want it for the border, all right? I also put it up on the website the um, fabric for the backing. If you want to do your backing fabric the same out of the background material, that's what you can do. And, and I'm doing mine out of that goldy one that was in there. That's the one that I'm going to be using. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. So does anybody have any questions? The fabric for this is, um, the fabric for this is in the half square triangle block area. So when you go out on the website to get the half square triangles, the fabric for the border, the little border, and for your backing is out there too. Um, Carla, make sure that you order extra and um, just try really hard to get as many into me as you can this month. So, and it, they've got to be in by Saturday. So just, just under a week. And Carla, the only thing that will happen is you'll end up having a few more of your triangles versus um, the swapped ones. But you've got swapped ones from the past month. So what you're going to want to do is order one monthly kit and three additional kits and two large kits, okay, so that you've got all of them. Okay, you did order extra, but you haven't gotten them. Okay, I will make a note of that and um, find out what happened to it. 
and I'll get a hold of you. What might have happened is um what might have happened is it might be in it might have gotten into this month's order, so I will double check that. Cass, what you're seeing, all that fabric, those are the backing fabrics. They can also be used as the border fabric. I'm only putting in that area of the half square triangle swap the fabrics that we've been using all along. So any of those fabrics will also work as your borders. Okay, sounds good, Lori. Thank you. So I need to check on Carla. I just don't want to forget to do this, Carla. All right, I made a note. I won't forget to check. Um, yes, we do it at the same time every Sunday, and usually what time I'm on is from 2 until 3. Today it's going to be a little bit different. I'm only going to be on for about a half an hour, okay? Yes, I, Brenda, am still going to be using that pretty pink fabric for um, my other color and probably for the backing, all right? I, it's either that or the gold. Yep, one or the other I will be using. And I I'm not 100% certain. Lindsay, could you check the website, please, and see if the pink fabric's up there inside of the swap? I think it is. Um, you need a half of a yard for um, one of the borders. So I would say probably a half of a yard for the background border, and then I would call it a full yard for the other two and you're going to have to piece those together suzanne not i have actually not gone through mine yet so i'm not sure if i got one from those areas you can order extra large half square triangles you can absolutely order extras okay Oh, Krusty, Gail's not driving. Her husband is. Charlie's driving. So she, I think, is probably sitting there knitting because she showed me her beautiful knitting. And she's knitting with alpaca, I believe she said, and it's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Yep. Carrie, can we order extra large Hasbro triangles? I'm using eight different fat quarters for the large. Yes, you may order extras. Okay, thank you, Lindsay. I will put the pink up on the website tomorrow because I do have it, okay? So it will be up there tomorrow if anybody else wants that. I'm making a note. I've learned to get this right in front of me so that when we talk I can write little notes okay so that's how we're going to handle that then probably the end of September we're going to be making the quilt out of remember I told you every month to cut two and a half inch strips and set those aside we're going to start working on that quilt and Gail got to see that one so I'm really excited to do that one with you. Uh, Deb's, Deborah, Debbie Rhodes is missing Delaware, Louisiana, New Mexico, and Vermont. Uh, how many fat quarters can you get out of a yard of fabric? You can get four fat quarters out of a yard of fabric. Is there any way we can get a copy of everyone that's in the half square triangle swap? Yes, Cheryl. I'll be producing that at the very, very end. Okay. Carrie's been saving her two and a half inch strips, so you really want those guys, okay? Because we're going to make a quilt out of them, and the quilt is really cool. It's one of those real fun ones. Just, it's a real simple, no, you know, no worry one. It's not one where we got to perfectly match everything, and it's a fun one, okay? So we'll have fun doing that. And I showed it to Gail, so I think you guys will all like it. Um, Teresa, I expect to be doing it any day now. 
I had hoped to actually have it to Lindsay by um, Saturday and it didn't work. Trying to get ready for the wedding and stuff, it just didn't work. So I, that's on the top of my list this week. So hopefully we will, I'll get it up this week, okay? That's all I can't remember, even though I, uh, <laughs> um, oh good gal, I'm glad you liked it too. I got lazy and didn't cut the two and a half inch strips, but kept the fabric together. Well, as long as you got it together, Deb, that's what matters, okay? I don't blame you, Karen. I want the list too, so that um, so that we've all got and all know where it all comes from. Teresa, not a problem, honestly. I I just trying to get it up as soon as I possibly can. Yep. Um, Teresa, a friend of ours, their daughter got married. So we went to the wedding. I'm not, I can't remember if you're on, I think you're on Facebook, Teresa. If Yeah, you are. If you go look at my post this morning, you know, this young generation, they keep forgetting this stuff. Oh, Hazel loves her Benina. Good. I'm so glad. When, um... When we were at the wedding shower, I'd never heard of this nor seen it. And I understand why they did it. But they opened the presents, the maid, bridesmaids, when they were handing her the presents, they opened them. So when she got them, she just had to take a little bit of the paper away. But all the bows and ribbons were already off them. And I couldn't understand it. When I got... Thank you, Cheryl. When I got married and they had my shower, they were all teasing me because every time I broke a ribbon, I was going to be have a baby. Well, nobody did that. And, oh, Lindsay says it is a new thing that they're doing. So they were doing it all beforehand. So the girls in the back had all of the ribbons and stuff. And I thought, yeah, you're right, Lindsay. Laugh out loud, twins. I had them, didn't I? So I, um, I'm going, well, if these girls don't know anything about that, then they absolutely don't know about the fact that you take the ribbons from the shower. Or maybe it's just something that we've done in my family. I thought it was everybody did it. You take all the ribbons and, you know, all the stream, streamers or if there's tool or anything in the packages, all that stuff. And you put together a wedding bouquet for the bride-to-be to carry down the aisle at the rehearsal. Well, yeah, it does take away some of the fun. I got to be honest with you, Diane. It really did. So I gathered it all up, and I brought it home, and I put together a bouquet for her. Yep, you're right, Carrie. You do that, and you make the bouquets. So I brought it home, and I made a bouquet. I took a plastic plate and the plastic was really a hard plastic and um I cut a slit in it and I put the ribbons down through because there were some long ribbons so that she could hold the ribbons and then I took a hot glue gun and I just put all the ribbons and all the bows all over and it came out so cute I was so excited for it so um, they sent me a picture of her. They'd left the um, rehearsal and they were on the way to the car, but she had to, she had on good shoes and the grass was all wet and she didn't want to have get her shoes all wet. So the groom-to-be picked her up and carried her and she had her bow way up, her thing up in the air. It was so cute. It was wonderful. I know, Lindsay, that that traditional thing is really fun. Well, then it got even funnier. You, She did love it, Teresa. It was really fun. It was really, really fun. So then when we got to the church yesterday, you know, I was always taught when you got married, I thought everybody did that too, Gail. You'll, you're going to have to ask for us and report next week because we need to know if everybody does that now or not. So we get to the 
to the church in um it was at St. John Fisher College, which is where I graduated from. So we get there, and we walk in, and the ushers are there. Now, I was taught, and my daughters can confirm this because we had to, abs they had to do it. When, when we got ready for the rehearsal, those boys, they had a job to do. They were the ushers. Well, we get there, and the ushers are just kind of walking around. And I said, well, I guess we just go sit down, Bob. So we walked in and, and we went off to the left because we're friends of the bride. The bride's family sits on the left. The groom's family sits on the right. Well, I looked over and the bride's family was sitting all over on the, on the right. I'm going, what's going on here? Nobody told the ushers how to seat anybody. They didn't know to put their you know, their arm out so that the woman could take, take it. They didn't know to walk to the aisle and to stand there and help the women in to sit. They didn't know to do any of that. They left after the wedding. Nobody came back in the church to let us leave. And I'm going, oh. We're losing a lot of tradition here. Nobody told you where to go or what to do or anything. I was like, I was a little shocked, people. I mean, I, I know I'm old-fashioned, but I, I was a little surprised. Believe you me, when my granddaughters get married, if you guys get to go to it, they, they will, there will be ushers doing their job. Then, when they came down the aisle, the girls came down, and, and they did a little bit of a slow pace. Not quite. Well, when the bride and father came down, they ran <laughs> to the front of the church. We, Bob and I both looked at each other, and we absolutely laughed. We could not believe it. It was just unbelievable. I was in, and Bob said, Bob looked at me and said, whoa, that was fast. It really was. You know, I was taught you take a step and then you pause. You take a step and then you pause. So that you have a little bit of, you have a little time to be able to see the bridesmaids and especially the bride. Boy, was it really. It was It was different. It was really cool, though. I felt horrible for the mother of the groom because she did come in first to get seated, and she didn't know where to sit. Nobody told her where to sit. So, yeah, the official should have. Um, they, Lindsay, they did not start standing when the bride came in. And then there were enough of us older people here that that stood but the minister never told us when to sit either yeah oh carrie's daughters ring bearers walked down the aisle to the miss mission impossible music oh my gosh that's so funny yeah they should have but but they didn't yeah i guess i could understand if there were no groomsmen that they wouldn't usher but to me if you've got groomsmen in they're standing out in the vestibule i would think that that's exactly what their job is yes the bride and groom's parents they did end up sitting in the very first row but the groom's parents came in first which is right in in the Poor mother of the groom went to sit on the left side because she didn't know, she didn't, she, she, nobody told her. So finally somebody whispered to her so that, um, so that they went over to the right side where they belonged. Yeah, Cass, they should have been worked out at the rehearsal, which, I, you know, I, I, I wasn't at the rehearsal. So, Possibly maybe the person that was in charge of that, maybe something happened and they couldn't 
But, yeah. Well, Wendy, they have definitely changed the way they do things at weddings nowadays. At least the one I went to yesterday, it was a little bit different. It was a beautiful wedding. Absolutely beautiful wedding. I just looked at my husband and said, well, we really are getting old. You know? If, if we're going to do this, then it definitely is we're getting old. Nope. Oh, Sammy had an untraditional wedding, so she didn't have ushers or anything. We had, um, Bob and I had a very, very small wedding. There were, um, I think maybe 50 or 55 um, people there, and that was it. We had, um, well, you guys know I'm one of six. So we had my brothers and sisters and their spouses. And um, my sister Sue stood up for me, and um, my husband is one of three, and only one of his sisters could make it. So um, we, at, so his family, it was just his mom and his dad, and his aunt, and then just a couple of close friends. In my side, it was. Um, my family, my grandfather, and um, and my grandmother, and and another grandfather, and then um, my cousin and his mom, and that's it. You know, it just was, yeah, it just was a really really tiny wedding. But we still did we have we did not have ushers because of the fact that it was so small. It was just immediate family. And the same thing with the um, with the um, the dinner. It was a very small sit down dinner. Yep. Oh, Mary Ann said that a wedding the ushers forgot to come and get the mothers to escort them out. I know. I kept waiting for the usher. They didn't come back in this one either. A lot of people have gone to the JP, and I think that they're wonderful weddings. I just found that it was really different. Yep. My husband and I eloped in a Ford pickup truck. Oh, married in a wedding chapel. It was so funny, but memorial. But, oh, memorable. Wonderful. She married 50 years this October. Wow. We're... 38, the end of this month. Yeah, Debbie, I, I'm not into all that money. It's a lot of money nowadays for a wedding. They are so expensive. And Gail had Martha Stewart book to put everything in. Oh, that's cool. Catholic still does the traditional weddings. Oh, that's good. That makes me happy, Diane. Yeah, I don't know, Carrie, if they had a wedding consultant. I hope they did, but I don't know that they did. Oh, Sammy, what a wonderful wedding. That's how my mom got married. Um, that's how my mom got married with Glenn. Huh, Mom? You got... No, you were at a church, and then we had the reception at the house. Oh. My sister Sue got married at the old lighthouse, and it was just a beautiful wedding. Wow, Hazel, 54 years in October. That's a long time, huh? Vanessa, she went to the JP. She used her sister's fifth wedding dress 13 years ago. <laughs> I wore my mother's wedding dress. She, yep, I wore hers. I thought that was quite wonderful. And one I'd been, you know, it was that typical little girl story. I had been, I had been wearing and trying on my mother's wedding dress since I was a little girl. And that's what I wore when I got married. Yep, and I loved it. It was just wonderful. And you know what? The bottom of the dress had little bitty stains on it that the dry cleaners could, couldn't get out. And, and those 
were still in there the day that I walked down the aisle and I was thrilled with it because they were marks that I had made trying it on. Hmm. Wow. That's a, that, yeah, it, Teresa was really special to wear my mom's dress. Oh, I made Jackie's wedding dress, Carrie, and I loved it. I was really happy. I loved making her wedding dress. Congratulations, Pauline, 45 years. Woo. It won't be long and I'll be at 40. That's, I know that one. This year we're 38. So, all right, guys, does anybody have any questions about the half square triangle swap? Oh, I know. All the brides. Nope, Krusty, Lindsay's not married. <laughs> Down here in the South, we still have traditional weddings. Catholic weddings can be hundreds of people. Full service, dinner and dance. Oh. Suzanne was married in a modern, I think it means, mod pink corduroy jumpsuit. Ooh, I bet that was pretty. I want to see pictures, Suzanne. That's what we should do is I'll put pictures of us up on in our Facebook group when we got married, what we looked like. Diane made her own wedding dress. If I hadn't had my mom's to, to wear, I might have considered making my own. If I were to renew my vows, I absolutely would make my own wedding dress. Absolutely, positively would do it. I, yeah, I would enjoy that. You don't have any pictures? Okay. <laughs> I, there are only two pictures of me in this world when I was pregnant for the twins. Hi, Sherry. Oh, I hope you're okay. 40, it's a ruby. That's my um, birthstone. Pauline made her dress too. All right, I'll post one first. I got to find one. I think they're downstairs. Oh, Sue said that she had the JP marry her and her husband standing in the standing by the lake in her mother's backyard, and her dress was lavender. Thirty-seven years ago, oh, I bet it was beautiful. Vanessa said uh, her Amish weddings are 300 to 500 people in two full meals. Start about 8 in the morning and go to about 10 o'clock at night on a Tuesday or a Thursday. I bet that is wonderful. <laughs> Brenda, her sister-in-law, said she thought of cooking food for the reception. I told her she wouldn't have time for that. Wow, Jay Ivy just celebrated 31 years. They had over 400 people at theirs. Wow, that's a lot of people. We did a um, we did a surprise anniversary party for all of our friends a few years ago, and we lit. We didn't tell anybody what it was, and it didn't fall on our um anniversary. But we had a huge party for it. And it was so much fun. We just had a picnic um, down in my best friend's house. And we just had a blast. That We just had a big party. And it was a lot of fun. I would like to do that for our 40th. Just throw ourselves a big party. Hi, Carol. Hi, Wendy. Wendy's was at a courthouse, too. Wow. A lot of us have gotten married at a courthouse. <laughs> Wendy said she wasn't pregnant either. That's what my grandfather said to me when Tracy was born. He said to me, he came to the hospital to visit me. And not that I think, I mean, nowadays I understand. But back when I got married, it was a big deal. He walked into the hospital to see me after our first child was born he looked at me and he says, well, he says, the first child can take two months, can take four months, can make take six months. 
He says, the second one always takes nine months. He looked at me and he said, you did good. So, yep. <laughs> oh, no, Roberta. Oh, my gosh. Roberta's brand new husband was sick the entire honeymoon. Wow. Wow. All right, guys. I hate to do this because it's an awful fun conversation going on, but I'm going to go meet up with my husband over on the land and we're going to walk around 60 acres and just enjoy the afternoon. Nellie, you're going to order your monthly kit, you're going to order one additional kit, and you're going to order one large kit, large half square triangle kit, okay? Krusty, I may just hold his hand for a few minutes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You guys have a fantastic week. Don't forget to make certain that you get your half square triangles in the mail to me. I need them by Saturday, okay? Saturday will be my, our last day before the swap because we're going to swap on Sunday, okay? Thank you. We will have fun on Lewin Land, I promise you. Bye, everybody.